No. That's what I said. You, you have to put it. You're going to have to get it out and put it in the oven. I can't do it. I'm not going to be home in time. You're going to have to get it out at 5 o'clock. Take the plastic wrap off this time, okay? You can't put... Will you listen? I'm not, I'm not fussing. I'm not nagging you. Hang on a second. Just hang on. This man. Jimmy, you have to make sure you take that plastic wrap off before you put it in the oven. I am not eating plastic coated meatloaf again. I'm not going to do it even to spare your feelings this time and know it was not okay. Get it out of the oven. We got company coming tonight. I got to make sure you get this ready. Now we're all going to get worms if you don't cook it long enough. Put it in there at five. It's all put, you don't have to fix anything. All you have to do is take the plastic wrap off and put it in the oven and make sure you turn the oven on to 350 at five o'clock, okay? I, I, I've got pie, the pie is fine. Don't worry about that. And I'm gonna stop and pick up some mashed potatoes and macaroni and cheese. I'm not fixing all that. Well, I don't care if they're expecting homemade. If they want homemade, they can go home and make it themselves. Look, I'm, I gotta go, I'm at work. No, I'm not at the shop. I know, I keep saying it too. Well, it's kind of hard to break a habit you've had for nine years. We're, we're gonna find a place. Don't worry about it, okay? Well, it ain't gonna be in the same location, but we're gonna find another place for the shop. We're working on it. Me and Trish are working on it. All right, now don't forget, okay? Now go out there and mow the yard. It's not gonna rain. The weatherman said so. Well, I believe in this time, and you're not gonna use it as an excuse. Now go on out of there. Okay. Don't forget. All right, bye. Sorry. I appreciate you coming out here. Yeah, it's uh, well, it's not bad. I'm, I'm doing, I'm doing fine. I'm doing okay. How are you? Yeah, I heard about that. I'm sorry. Did it break all the toe, all the bones in your foot, or the big toe? And oh, okay. Well, you know how it is when they first start learning how to drive. Yeah, I, I know. Well, well, I guess next time they go to back out of the driveway, you might want to back up a little bit. Oh, you were in the grass? Well, they just didn't turn the wheel quite right, I guess. But, well, anyway, you, you look great. You, they got you in a boot, I see. Well, I hate those things. Aren't they awful? Can't stand a dang boot. It's temporary. It's it's only temporary. We got our fingers crossed. We're going to find a place any day now. In fact, I'm all gussied up today. Isn't that pretty? Don't I look pretty? I know. We're going today to look at a place. Mm hmm Well, see, the people that own that place where Curl Up and Die was, they're, they're using that fire you know, that unfortunate incident between Symphony and me and the hot wax, they're using that fire as an excuse. They're saying now that that part of the building is structurally unsound, what it really is. They lost a whole bunch of money on, on cockfighting. They got caught with this cockfighting ring, and they need money for a lawyer, and they're just looking to sell the place. That's all it is. I know. They're just using that fire as an excuse. But there's nothing we can do about it. So they're going to they're gonna sell it, and the people that they're selling it to don't want us there anymore. No. Do you, want to, do you know what they want to do with that? They want to put in one of those hot yoga places. They're going to remodel that whole section of the strip mall and put some kind of stupid hot yoga in there. You want hot yoga? Get out and mow the yard in July. There's your hot yoga. God. People pay good money for that. Do you believe that mess? Well, whatever floats your boat, I guess. But for now... Curl up and die is homeless. So me and Trish are just kind of having to make do, you know. It's like we have to just, I don't know. We just have to make do and, and find a way. I mean, right now she's doing hair at her house and hoping she don't get caught because that's, I mean, you know, that's, well, it's not technically against the law, I don't guess, but you can only do so much of it. <clears throat> and it's like you have to declare your home a business and then you have zoning issues and it, it's just a, it's just a red tape nightmare. So for me, Bobby was kind enough to let me come here. Well, I don't think it's really kindness. I mean, you know, he had to have that colostomy bag incident and 
well, he can't be here right now, so I'm kind of minding the store for him. He made it sound like he's doing me a favor, but really he just needed somebody here. So I think he was kind of glad that we got kicked out of the strip mall. So I'm keeping an eye on the on the flea market for him, you know. Uh, I kind of serve as the cashier slash security guard slash janitor. You mean like I'm just, you know, I'm like a one-man band in this place. And today I am man in one of his little booths. So I'm having to do nails and sell stuff at the same time. And my last client, she won't come here. She said, I can't be seen in that place. I said, who cares? Ain't nobody looking at you. She said, everybody looks at me. You believe her? She's one of these people you could say, you know, you're beautiful. And she's like, I know. She's this, she's some, well, she came in here and she was pleasantly surprised. I even sold her some stuff. Like we did the nails, you know, I did her nails and she has these long talons, like these claws that just dangle off her fingers. Frightening, you know. <clears throat> so she came in here and I got her all fixed up, you know, got her nails all pretty and everything. And while I was doing her nails, see, you have to know your customer. I know my customer. I had some nice sparkly stuff sitting out because she's very sparkly. She's a, she's a fascinating woman. But I, I hate... I hate catching her between husbands. That's the worst. And that's right where we're at right now. She about got her a good one, and then he killed over and died before she could run him down the aisle. <clears throat> so she's she's kind of between husbands right now, and and she gets extra she gets extra hungry when she's between husbands. I mean, she gets this wild look in her eyes like she's possessed or something. And uh, and she comes in, and, and it's like. It's like she can't she can't pay like normal so she wants to barter and i'm going sweetheart I, I don't i need money darling i need money especially now with not having the shop and all and and i i'm, I'm limited on the amount of work i can do because people can't come to the shop anymore and they would come in and get their hair done and then while we while they were there they'd say well you know what the heck i'll go get my nails done but i don't have that now so I, I thank you so much. Bless your heart for coming here today. But when she's between husbands, like the cash flow starts to drop and she doesn't have money. So then she wants to barter. And I get real sick of having to take bejeweled walkers and cases of insure to do her nails. I mean, it's like, honey, I can't do nothing with this. But then she said, well, you can sell them here in the flea market. So I didn't really have an excuse, you know. So I took them, and that's what that, yeah, that, that that shiny walker you about tripped over right there, she, well, that was from her latest conquest. She thought she was going to get to gallop down the aisle again with that shiny walker there, and he had a wheelchair to match. Had like, I don't think they're real diamonds, but like these big jewels all over it, and she was just in love with it, you know. But then he dropped dead. I, she has the worst luck with men just dying on her. And, and she says that it's, they die at the wrong times. You know, she has bad timing. I said, you just have to learn to romance them a little faster. I mean, it sounds like they're all racing with the Grim Reaper anyway. No offense, sweetheart. And she said, none taken. She just kind of like, I know. But I know my customer. <clears throat> See, while, while she was here getting her nails done, I laid out some stuff that I knew she would like because she likes that sparkly stuff. I knew, I, I knew she was coming and I thought, okay, she's going to turn her nose up at this place right now, but she ain't going to turn her nose up at it long. As soon as she sees what's on my table, mm -mm. I started out, I hit her with some of these. Now these are, these are magnets. You see here on the back, that's a magnet and it has a little clip on it. So you can stick a piece of paper under here, um, you know, like a restraining order or a summons, cease and desist letter, things like that. And it says, more sparkle, please. I knew she'd go for that one. She bought 12 of these. And then I had this, which is the same concept. You have this little, little magnet on the back and a clip there, see? And it says, girls have more fun. And it's shiny. Isn't that cool? <clears throat> so she bought 12 of those, too. I said, where are you going to put all them? She said, I put them on my car. 
So what you gonna put them on your car for? She, you ever been on a college campus where they have these things where they have these little, they'll be you know, like a piano lessons or a tutor or whatever, and they'll have these little strips that you can tear off with the phone number on it. She has some of those printed up. Apparently, she teaches classes on how to be, what she call it? She called it something funny, like and she. Sound like a gold digger to me, but she said it was not a gold digger at all. Sparkly friend, that's what it was. She had to be a sparkly friend. She asked me if I was interested. <clears throat> I said, girl, no, I can't be no. I'm, does it have something to do with, like, getting a husband or whatever? And she said, sometimes. Oh, wait, what does that mean? She said, well, you know, if you're looking for something, like a little extracurricular fun. I said, no, ma'am. <laughs> One spouse is enough. One man is enough. I ain't got room. I ain't got time for the mess of no other man. <clears throat> so she's okay. If you change your mind, let me know. I say, I ain't changing my mind. I, mm -mm. Your life is too interesting and too full for me. I, I'm boring, I guess. I can't handle it. <clears throat> so I laid that out. This was the first thing I showed her. It's the little, the little, the little uh, magnets and then. Just casually, while, while, while her first coat was drying, I laid these on her. Look at this. Isn't that something? Red, white, and blue because we have Memorial Day and Independence Day coming up. Now that is really extra fancy. And the underside is gold. I knew she would like that. That's cool, huh? She bought 37 of these. Can you believe that? She's going to be really sparkly. These are individual rhinestones. You see that? She really liked the clear ones here, just the plain ones. But I said, no, honey, you wear these. They're red, white, and blue. So she bought 27 of these, like, you know, with three. So that's like a bajillion rhinestones. I know my people. And then we had face jewelry. This is face jewelry. These and it's just stickers. It's basically all it is. But you have these little rhinestones that stick on there like that. And then a red and blue star that's really big. And then little blue stars. You get three of those. One, two, three. And then you get one, two red stars. Very shiny. See? And then they got this this heifer's face on here to show you where you could put them, just like curve them around here. Like, what's her name? Kesha. She spells her name funny, like puts a dollar sign on like she's somebody. I don't know. And you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven of these little round, little shiny things. She bought a couple of those. Would you be interested in any of these? Well, I think they're cool. I was kind of thinking about, you know, for the 4th of July, for the Independence Day Parade. Are you going to be in it this year? I thought when, you know, your daughter's playing softball, aren't they going to ride on the float? They ride on the float every year. Don't you know that? Well, let me tell you, when Brittany did it, Amberlynn, Amberlynn never did play, and she never shown any interest in it, but when Brittany did it, they told us, um, now I don't know, is Eddie still coaching that team? Well, if he is, he's going he's gonna to tell you, you are going to be expected to have her all decked out in red, white, and blue. I mean, she can't no, she can't wear nothing else. It's got to be red, white, and blue. Like, red, white, and blue stuff in the hair. And, in fact, I have something right here that'd be perfect for that. Look at this hair clip. Look at that. You see? It's like a little pom-pom. It's like it's made out of tutu material. What do they call that stuff? Tutu material. I don't know. But it's white and red and blue. And then it's white again and red. And it's just layered. And then you have these little curly ribbons here. And it's just it's just a little hair clip, you know. It's like a little alligator clip. Like you can hold your pot with it, but I wouldn't recommend it because this stuff's gonna catch on fire. Like if you have a if you have a joint in there, it's gonna catch on fire. So but I I'm not saying you smoke dope, but I mean if you did, this would be a bad choice for your alligator clip. But for your daughter's hair on the flow to be perfect. Now these are three dollars. And I've got, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I got nine of these left. They look a little cute though. I like do her hair in ponytails, like little pigtails. <clears throat> Put one here and one over here. That'd be just adorable. 
And look, it's got silver sequins in it, like shiny stuff. You want two of them? Well, here. Let me put them over here. And you keep that there. How about this? Now, this will look real pretty on her face. It, it take it take attention away from that mole. Oh, you got it removed? Well, you still... No? All right. Well, so... Now, she didn't buy any of those, but I'm going to show you something she did buy. And this is funny. I mean, I thought even for her, this was a bit much. But I put it out anyway just to see what she'd say. Look at this. It's a little, it's a mini crown. It's like a little tiara. Well, she's so special anyway. I mean, she's so shiny all the time. I thought it'd be perfect for her. She comes floating in here. It's so funny to watch her walk. She just floats in the room. And it's wild because everybody just stops and looks like, oh my God, you know, she's like a Barbie doll or something. She's always dressed up. Like she always has all this fancy stuff on. Like even if she's going to the grocery store, I saw her at the grocery store one time like that. She had on a sequin ball gown like she was headed to Oprah Winfrey show or something. I don't know where she came from. I have to, I didn't grow up with her. And I know she can't be much younger or older than me. We're about the same age. Of course, a woman like that's kind of hard to tell. We are, we are, I know, I'm trying to clear a spot. It's, as soon as I get a spot clear, we're going to start on your nails, I promise. <clears throat> so, look, this comes with a giant clip in there, like a, a hair comb kind of thing that will hold this mini crown in place. Now, it, I'm not saying that, but I'm saying if she wanted to wear this on the float, he can not say nothing about her not wearing red, white, and blue, which is kind of weird because the uniform's orange. I mean, I, but when they rode on the float, he told them not to wear their uniforms. They had to wear red, white, and blue. And I said, well, how are they going to know what team y'all are if y'all don't have any uniforms on? The whole thing's stupid, if you ask me. I mean, I, I don't want to sound like I don't care, but this man just goes on and on. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I've been so grouchy lately, like with, you know, with us losing our, our place and just, I mean, I feel like, I feel like I'm homeless, you know, it's like I don't have anywhere to work. I have to come to the flea market and Bobby's trying to start trouble again. And, oh, he is. He, he changed the name of it back to Cookie's Flea Market and went out and paid big money for these high dollar signs. And I said, well, Bobby, Cook's Flea Market up on 52, less than a half a mile from here, has already got on to him one time. Their lawyer has already come down here once and said, you better take them signs down because it sounds too much like Cook's Flea Market. And I told Bobby that when he first started this place. I said, you can't call it that. Well, you know, Cookie's been, Cookie's been his nickname since high school. You know, he developed that thyroid problem. And in his eyes kind of got a little weird there for a while before they got his dose right. Don't you remember that? Everybody kept calling him Cookie Monster. And it didn't help that he developed a real sweet tooth and was eating everybody's cookies all the time. Yeah, well, he thought he'd capitalize on that and just call it Cookie's Flea Market. I said, it ain't got nothing to do with that. I said, you're just trying to, you're trying to get in on Cook's success. That's what it is. You're trying to piggyback on their advertising. He even made the same red and yellow sign like they got. I don't know if things got too calm around here. That's what it is. Let, you're right. I'm sorry. Here. I'm going to show you some more stuff, though. But look. I know you told me that you had the color that you wanted your nails to be. I know you did. But when you told me what it was, I, I didn't, I didn't want to say anything. But I thought about it. I, I just, I don't want to do it. I don't want to, I've been kind of stalling. I've been standing here and I've been kind of stalling because I don't want to do it. That, you know, can I just be totally honest with you? Can I just tell you, that has got to be the ugliest color of nail polish I have ever seen in my life. Oh, I know exactly which one you're talking about. I've seen it. I have seen it. I was in Walmart and I saw it. And I recalled in horror, you know, I read that in a book one time and I didn't even know what that was. And, but I did it when I saw it and I said, oh my God, that is the ugliest color I've ever seen in my life. Why would anybody put that on their nails? It's just nasty. So I was hoping I could kind of talk you out of it. That, that, don't say anything yet. Now, before you get started on me, 
Is this what you you wanted to wear it to match this? Where are you going? Okay. Well, now see that. I would I would think for something like that you'd want to wear something a little more subdued. Now your outfit's fine. I mean I like it and all. But if you're if you're going, I'm not. I'm, no, I'm not going to ask why. You're going for a counseling session with the pastor. Okay, I got to know. I got to know. I got to know. What's going on that you're going to meet with the pastor for counseling? Is it like official counseling or private stuff? Like how private? Oh, oh, it's between you and, and Kenny. Okay, I, 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 won't, I won't ask anymore. I won't ask it. None of my business. None of my, but if you're going to meet with a pastor for counseling, I'm just saying that nail polish, I think, is just a little bit too much. Just look at, just wait and see what I got. Because when you told me that, you didn't even have to tell me what color it was. I know what color it is by the name of it. So I brought some in here, and I'm going to try to talk you out of it. I'm going to change your mind. Now look at this. I brought in my little box of goodies here. I've got my little, my little wooden box. And this is what I use. Now, see, if I was at the shop, you know, I got my wall of colors over there. I got all my all my nail polishes on that big wall. And I, if I had somebody coming in, I would try to ask him ahead of time, what color, what colors are you interested in? And I would take this little box that has one, two, three compartments, and I would put the uh, different colors in here, like if they said maybe blue, maybe green, I put blue here, green here, and then maybe a few other selections that I think they might like, just based on what they've used in the past. For you, I have one, two, three, four, five that I want you to look at. Now keep an open mind, okay? You brought it with you. Well, I'm no, I guess it's a good thing you did because I certainly don't have a bottle of it. <clears throat> Won't you just look at mine first? Well, oh, hand it here, hand it. Just let me. Oh God! <sighs> Traffic cone. No, I know exactly what it is. It's it's nasty. Does this look like an appropriate color to meet with your pastor in? You know you're going straight to hell if you walk into church with that screaming orange crap on your fingernails. I don't mean to be harsh. I don't mean to be harsh at all, but... And I know you said it was private, but if you're going in there for marriage counseling, you're going to come out divorced if you wear this. I mean, if I was married to you, I'd divorce you. No offense, but... Let me put that down. Check this out. Now, these are not all orange, but just by what I see you're wearing, and that is what you're wearing. All right. These would all work. Any of these would work because, well, it's a floral thing, and it's different shades of orange. It's not all the same color. Look at this one. Now, it doesn't look like much in the bottle, but I have this Sally Hansen Hard as Nails Diamond Shine. Now, look at that pretty. Um, the color name is something. Uh, it is pink diamond. Now, I know it looks pink, but it's actually got a little bit of an orangey tint. I guess it is a little more copper. If you don't like that one, well, you can insult it all you like, but I like it just fine. But how about this one here? Now, this is a glitter. Woo now, this is a topper, but I could put this over something like this. Put it on top and it gives it a nice kind of an orangish shine now that's not too heathenish to wear to the church i don't think i don't believe god's gonna kick you in the butt for that you like it you think this is too much but this is not what is wrong with your head Fine. now i know you don't have a problem with this one now look at this now look how pretty that is that is just absolutely beautiful. It's, well, it's called sinful colors, but, you know, it, it's just a name. It's not actually sinful. And the color is Courtney Orange. Courtney Orange. That's really pretty. And look, it has a little bit of a, a shine to it. 
sort of metallic. You are not making my life easy at all. Okay, well, maybe this one will be, will be less horrible for you. Look at this. Now, this is kind of a peachy color, but look, you've got that stripe. I'm not touching your boob. I'm just pointing out you got that stripe in that pattern there. This is perfect for that. It's kind of a coral color. This is from Fresh Paint, and the color is Guava. Isn't that pretty? I like it. It would look so pretty on you. I think it would be beautiful. You got your heart set on that daggone traffic cone. I know you don't even try to say you don't. Now this one is not orange, but it is holographic, and it's from New Color. Now look at that. Now in different light, it may look a little orange, kinda. Depending on how you look at it. Like if you look at it far away, like if you're way over here and somebody's this close to you judging you, they might think it's orange. It's fancy. It's kind of like the Mona Lisa. No matter how you look at it, it's like it's following you. Only it's holographic nail polish. Well, that's all I got. Fine. All right. Let's get it over with. Get him up here. Get him. No, I'm not mad. I'm not mad. You're going to pay me, right? I should ask you to pay me more to do this. I'm, I'm kidding. No, I, I'm not hard up. We're fine. We're fine. Uh, Jimmy's picked up some extra hours at work to make up for it. And bless his heart, he's being so good about this. I said, don't worry about it. Well, I was telling you, one of the reasons I'm dressed up a little bit. <clears throat> well, Trish, don't tell Trish about this, okay? Because she didn't want everybody knowing. She's, you know, she's got her pride. She's so proud. And this has really hit her hard. But we're actually going to interview for jobs at a spa. Yeah, she hadn't had to work for anybody else in, God, 15 years. She's had her own shop that long. But until we find a place, she's got to make money somehow. You know, she's not making enough money just doing hair out of her house. <clears throat> to make ends meet, she just can't do it. No, let me get it. Let me get it. I'll, I'm going to catch that. Hold on a second. You gotta watch out for that pig. I've been trying to catch it all day. I'm sorry, I got it, I got it. Well, you know they say pigs aren't that smart. Pigs are smart here. Here, take it, take it. Put put it back in your purse. We have a pickpocketing pig here, we do. I don't know who it belongs to. It was one of those that somebody, we know how people buy these pot-bellied pigs and they're small and they think they're cute. The problem is they don't stay small. They get big and mean. People let them out. They just let them loose out in the woods. And we got one running around here now that has figured out how to get stuff out of people's purses and their back pockets and stuff. I think it's a trained pig. I believe somebody owns it and they've trained it to come in here and pick pockets. Bobby thinks it's ridiculous, but Bobby can't even keep his colostomy bag together. I said, you don't need to be telling me about no pigs picking pockets and saying that's ridiculous. I know what I'm talking about. You keep your colostomy bag together and don't you worry about what I know. So, yeah, don't tell Trish. All right, please don't, don't mention it to anybody, okay? It's between you and me. We're going to interview for a job at a spa in Nathanville, and I hate it. But it's just going to be temporary. Got my fingers crossed that we're going to find a place to start up again and, and, and get our business going again. I'm, I'm, I'm being optimistic about it. I'm not optimistic about this, but I need the money and you insist. So put your hand up here. What happened to your cuticle? Hold still. See what I can do to it. That's better. Hey, Mama. Hold on. <clears throat> Hang on a minute. You did what now? Well, thank you. No, you got to take it and put it back there. I, I do appreciate it. I do. That was real sweet. But it's, you got to put it in the refrigerator because I can't eat it right now. I'm busy. I'm doing. I'm painting. Yeah. 
Well, if you would take a broom and sweep that up, that'd be great. That pig's back, so be careful. Yeah, zip your pocketbook up. Hold it up. Okay. But thank you for bringing me that. Poor mama. It was sweet of her to bring me lunch. I do appreciate it. Well, she's trying to... She's trying to get back in everybody's good graces right now. Let me see that thumb right there. Well, um, she's in a little bit of trouble right now. <clears throat> she, I, I don't even know where to start. I probably shouldn't even be telling you this. She can't. literally busted, but, um, Daddy got the credit card statement in the mail, and normally she gets it, and he saw a charge on there for $2,000. She spent $2,000 playing Angry Birds. Angry Birds? Who plays Angry Birds anymore? It's 2018. Ain't nobody playing no Angry Birds. She spent... And it wasn't all in one charge. But she spent $2,000 on Angry Birds. I don't know, buying something. I don't even know how you would spend that kind of money on it. But she was buying something on there. Hold your finger out a little bit. And uh, she just got carried away. And it's like she was hooked on it. Daddy said she was playing it all the time. <clears throat> well, after she hurt her back, she had a lot of spare time, and she got sick and tired of watching Family Feud all the day, all day long, and soap operas and stuff. So she started playing Angry Birds on her phone, and she got good at it. But then she got to where she couldn't get past these certain levels and things, and I think that's when she started buying stuff. Let me see the other hand. Slide it over a little bit. So Daddy hit the roof because he was going to buy a new lawnmower. But then he said, we got this charge on here for this $2,000. I can't buy a lawnmower now. I'm going to have to fix the one up that we got and hope it'll keep running. So he was really mad. And then I found out, see, she had set up these savings accounts for Brittany and Amber Lynn. Like for college and stuff, you know, she put some money in there. I found out she used up every bit of that money, too. Well, she was going to these... Now, that money she spent elsewhere. She was going to these fish arcades. You know, I know you've seen them. They're always in real shady parts of town. And you go in there, and it's like online gambling. It's like video gambling. Hang on a minute. Yeah. Do I have, do I have any money? Mama, no, I don't have any money. What for? For my lunch? Well, if I'd known you were going to get me lunch, I Mom, I don't have it. I'm sorry. I... Well, I, I hate to say it, but if I had known you were going to do that and you didn't have any money, I would have said, don't go. Well, I, I don't have any cash on me right now. I'm sorry. I can't give you any money. Well, you know that family meeting we had? I'm not even supposed to be giving you any money for any reason, whether you bring me lunch or not. When are you... No. Oh, I know you don't want to talk about it here. I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. When are you going to your um meeting? You have your meeting, right? Are you going to your meeting today? It's at three. Okay. Well... If I recall, that meeting is very important and was part of a family meeting we might have had. Something you were going to start going to. Yeah. And in the meantime, we're just going to be real careful with our money, aren't we? Okay. All right. Well, thank you again. I hate to see her like that. God, I hate it. So, yeah, she spent all of Brittany and Amber Lynn's money that she had put in there. Now, I don't know how much was in there. Daddy said it was about $2,000 each. 
spinning at these um, these fish arcades all over town. She was going all over town. Now, I never would have thought at 72 years old my mama would develop a gambling problem, but darn if she hadn't. God, I don't know. Let me feel that one right there. So now she's trying to get back in my good graces. She's, this is the second time she's brought me lunch. Now, the first time, she didn't ask me for no money. I did not ask her to keep doing it, though, in my defense. If I had known, I would have said, don't do it, because I don't have any cash. No, I'm not broke. I'm not broke, I promise. But we had a family meeting, and we all agreed we were not going to give her any money. She, I hate to do it, but she has access to no money right now. And that's something that the, the therapist that she's working with said that we needed to do, was to watch how she spent money. <clears throat> this nail polish is gross. You know why it's gross? It's not just the color, it's the fact that it's stubborn and I'm having to do two coats. So anyway, yeah, Bobby's done changed the name of the flea market. He was just calling it Bobby's Flea Market, which I thought was fine. I said, everybody knows, everybody knows now. That's your flea market and everybody comes to it because you don't have all that regular junk like they have up at Cook's. You have good stuff at your flea market. Everybody knows that. So they don't want to go to Cook's. They want to come here because you have real good stuff here. You have good antiques. Your prices are good. You don't charge a lot for your drinks and snacks. How's that? Oop, I messed up. Sorry. Now, hold, hold that out. Hold your hand out like that. Look at that. Isn't that hideous? Aren't you sorry? You like it. It's awful. So, yeah, I'm dressed up. i got to go to this interview later. Hopefully, Bobby will get in here in time to take over. Well, he's going to have to because I ain't got nobody else here. Jimmy's at work. Let me do a little bit more on that pinky right there. It's not quite gross enough. I'll add a little more. Oh, look at these. I got all the America stuff here. Look at these earrings. Now, these are plastic, but they, they have a little secret. You turn them over. There's a little button. You push it, and they light up. Now, it don't get no more patriotic than that. Look, it makes your face light up without alcohol. I know, I'm thinking about wearing some of these. And then you push it again and it shuts off. It's supposed to. Isn't this pretty? Now, these are only $3 for these. And they light up. No? Okay. Well, my sparkly friend bought some. Look at this hat. Now, this isn't really the same, but look. It's a nice camouflage hat. And we have North Carolina embroidered in pink on it. And if you see up here at the top, real small, it says North Carolina in script. That's real fancy. I love it myself. I bought two for myself. I bought one to wear every day and a backup. And if you look at the back, it has the NC and heart on the back. So, these are seven dollars. You like it? You want one of these? Great. I'm gonna put it with your bows over here. Uh, we don't actually take credit cards right now. Um, well, Bobby punched a guy at the bank, so we can't use the credit card machine for a while. Well, he punched the guy that services the card the card reader and made him real mad. And he came and took them all out. He didn't even uninstall them properly. He just ripped them out of the wall. It was very upsetting. Made my stomach hurt with the stress. Bobby's never happy. See, that's the problem. He's been that way since he was a kid. He is never happy for long. It's like if things are going good for him, he has to mess them up. It's like he has to do something to cause a problem. I keep telling him, Bobby, yeah, you got a good thing going here. Why do you keep sabotaging yourself? I mean, just now got out of debt from buying that boat. 
And then he goes and does this. I said, Bobby, then you go and you spend all this money on these expensive signs and you change it back to Cookie's Flea Market. We're going to have their big high dollar lawyers in their $300 suits coming down here and waving papers in our faces. I mean, we don't need that hassle. He's just, he's so stubborn. He's so hard, Eddie. He won't listen to nobody. Now, my sparkly friend loves this. Look at this. This is a headband right here. It's adult size. And look at all the sequins. My God. And it's it's elastic. So you can stretch it to fit it. If you've got the biggest hair in town, it don't matter. You can stretch it right over that big head of hair. You know, perms are coming back. I heard they are. And see, on the back, it's the same. The, the uh, sequins go all the way around. We have blue. And then the silver ones and red ones. We think these are two ninety seven. If you're interested, no. But think about it though. She could wear it on the float in the parade. Her head's big enough. Yeah, she's well. I reckon. You want one? Fantastic. My sparkly friend bought four of them. I don't know what she's gonna do with. Them. I didn't ask. Sometimes when she buys things, it seems a little peculiar. I've just learned not to ask because then when she tells me, I wish I hadn't asked. And then, look at this. We have hair clips. It's like long hair, but it's not real hair. And it's red, white, and blue. That's pretty long. I mean, look, that's like 18 inches right there. These, oops, these are only 97 cents. And see, they, it's just a little clip right here on the back, and you just clip that into your hair. See right there? Yeah. That'd look real pretty in that in the parade. Or she could wear it to school or whatever. Do they allow that at the school, or is this considered, like, not part of the dress code? Oh, come on. It's 97 cents. She'll love it. Okay. Excellent. Are you just buying all this because you feel bad for me? Don't feel bad for me. No, the way I look at it, life is pretty good. Life is good. I've got Rhonda. I got my house. I got Jimmy. Although some days I want to kick him out in the ditch somewhere. I still got him. He still he still puts up with me. And I got Brittany and Amber Lynn. And, you know, me and Trish, we're sticking together, you know, we're, we're gonna we're gonna rise up or we're gonna crash together. We're like Bill and Louise, minus the car going off. You know that that's very unfortunate. We will not be doing that. We got each other. That's all that matters. Hey, look at this. Now here's a nice bag, and I know how you love pink. Look, it's got a heart. It's like a little peace sign, and it looks like patent leather. It's like holographic patent leather if that was a thing. It's got a zipper part here. Matches my nails. And a long pull right here. Look how shiny. Now this is a special deal. It's only $5. It comes with a strap. It opens up, and these are magnetized snaps, two of them. We have individual pockets here for cards, like little business cards or whatever. Compartment here and a zipper compartment here. I know you're a sucker for little purses. Well, no, you can't touch it. Your nails are still wet. Just look at it. This is just where I had it hanging up, but I thought I'd bring one of these over here and show you. You like it? It's only five dollars. You want it? Okay. Now you will have to pay cash. Is that okay? Okay, awesome. Well, I do appreciate all these purchases that you're making. Oh, and look at this. Now this, now I don't know if uh, you're gonna have to do anything for the other girls during the parade or not, but this would be perfect. Look at this. Look, you can get 24 of these plastic beaded necklaces 
for five ninety seven. Just six dollars. And look how shiny they are. Look how pretty they are. Well, you would be you would be like the ultimate. You'd be the hit. You'd be the hero of the softball team. If you showed up with these, that'd be enough for everybody to have two at least. And they're they got the right color to the parade. Yeah. I think they're gorgeous. That's not bad for six bucks, basically. Would you be interested in these? You would? Wonderful, thank you. I'm gonna put this over here too. Let me see your nails. Well, they're almost dry. They look pretty good. No, see, Mama has to go to Gamblers Anonymous, and I'm thinking it's every day. I think they have. I think they have the meetings every day, and she has to go. I mean, that was one of the things that we told her. We said we're going to expect you to show us that you mean it, that you really want to get help, and you don't want to keep doing these things. I Swanee, I feel like my whole family's just falling apart. You know. It, Brittany's getting ready to graduate, and she doesn't know what she wants to do. Well, yeah, she does have one more year, but the, the guidance counselor's really starting to get on to him. Like, what do you want to do when you graduate? And she's getting all stressed about it. And I don't, I don't know. Everybody's just stressed out right now. But I have to just remember, I mean, we have each other, you know, so it's going to be okay. I got Rhonda. You know, I like to go out and hang out with her sometimes and bring her an apple or something. So as soon as we find a place, I will let you know. I'm going to let everybody know. i got everybody's phone number. I'm going to call everybody and tell them where the shop's going to be. We're going to have a grand opening. We're going to have a big party. Oh, we've already got it all planned. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We're going to have a big party and we're going to celebrate. Uh, but in the meantime, uh, we may have to uh, go work somewhere else for a little while. I don't know what that's going to involve. I don't I don't know if they'll even hire us. We'll just have to wait and see. But for now, I'm just going to have to hang out in the flea market, I'm afraid. Not exactly where I thought I'd be at this point in my life, but, you know, sometimes we just have to do the best we can, I guess. But let me see your nails. Hold, 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 them, hold them like this. Do like this. Like you just saw somebody wearing black and navy blue at the same time. You know, I did not want to say this, but honestly, that looks really nice. It, I'm serious. It looks very nice. It looks nice with what you got on. Well, I like your jewelry, too. Your jewelry's beautiful. Love those earrings. That's just awesome. Love that. And that, I have a new respect for traffic cone. You know what? It looks real good with what you're wearing. Mm-hmm. Do you want to keep this? you want to take this? Okay. I don't blame you. I ain't gonna be using it on nobody else because I do believe you are the only person on the planet that can pull off that color. So, all right. Well, I'm gonna get your stuff bagged up. Um, if you wouldn't mind, though, I'm gonna need to step away because the pigs done got into the slushy machine. I swanee some all the time. <laughs>